Hello, this is Travis from Advanced Solutions in Technology. And the purpose of this video today is to show you how you might be able to get a little more speed out of your computer. Now, people use their computers to surf the internet, to get email, uh, listen to music, do all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, the problem comes when you try to do too many things at once. Sometimes it can bog your computer down and it cannot work as well as you really want it to. So I'm going to walk you through a few things that can help you make your computer run just a little bit better for you. Now the first thing you're going to notice when you look down here is I have a whole bunch of programs and items open down here. And that's going to slow down your computer. That's going to take up CPU cycles, take up RAM. Um, all this stuff is going on while I'm trying to surf the internet, while I'm trying to record this. And I don't need this all going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to expose the stuff that I'm not using. So you can do that by clicking on the icon down here in your taskbar. And after you open up the program that you want to close, hit the little X button up in the right hand corner. There you go. Close down. One app is no longer running. If you look at Windows Media Player here, I'm looking at a video slideshow that I have. Well, I'm not going to be needing that while I'm making this recording. So I could do like I did before, go up here, hit the X button. But I'm going to show you another way you can do it. You can right click the program icon down on your taskbar and choose close window. There you go. It's no longer running. The icon's still here because I have it pinned to my taskbar, but it's no longer running. If you look here, you see I have uh, a computer window open in my Explorer and a, my C drive open in my Explorer. I'm going to close them. Now let's say I wanted to keep my computer open. I could do that if I wanted. I could just leave that open running down here on the taskbar. But I'm not going to. I'm going to close that. I don't need that running right now. If you look at Internet Explorer here, I've got four tabs open. I can close them one at a time. And the same thing as before. If I want to leave one or two tabs open, I can definitely do that. But since I don't need them for this recording, I'm going to close them all. And once again, I can go right click the program icon down here or just hover over it. Or I can click it and hit the X button up in the right hand corner. Okay, I'm going to leave Chrome running because I like the background the video and I also have to leave my recording software running. Now the next thing that can slow down your computer is all the stuff running down here by your clock. All these little icons here take up memory, take up CPU cycles, um, sometimes more than you would think. If you click on this little up arrow here, you're going to see that there's even more hiding up here. Now these plain white ones, these are part of Windows 7. These are going to be running pretty much all the time. You want to keep these running. You don't really want to shut these down. Uh, this stuff up here is stuff that I have selected that I keep running. Uh, I have the well, safely remove hardware. That's part of Windows 7. That's where you can eject your USB devices. That's going to stay running all the time. Uh, button manager for my Sharp printer. I use my button manager a lot on my printer so I keep it running. If I didn't use it, I would want to shut it down. And I'll show you how to shut down items in a little bit. And this is my ATI Catalyst Control Center. Uh, you might have one for Intel or uh, for NVIDIA. This basically makes changing resolutions on your computer easy. Um, makes adjusting settings easy. I use that quite a bit, so I'm going to leave, also leave that running. Basically, what you're looking for down here are things that you don't really use. Some things that come to mind would be weather things, uh, where if you click on it, it'll give you your temperature, it'll tell you if there's any warnings coming. Um, if there's some warnings coming and you want to be aware of it, you can leave it running. But if it's a nice day and you're not really too worried about it, you're going to want to either get rid of it or stop it from starting right away with Windows. Um, messengers, uh, Internet, things like that. I'm thinking Internet Explorer. MSN Messenger, Yahoo Messenger. You really don't need those running down here. 
not sure you're using them. Um, if you look here, you see I have my antivirus running. Your antiviruses may be different. You might have McGaffey, you might have Avast. So you're going to want to keep that running. So now I'm going to show you how to close what you don't want running. I'm going to use any DVD HD as an example. Now, there's three ways basically that you can close these and get these to stop from starting up when Windows starts up. The first way is to actually just click on it, either right click or left click. It, it can change depending on what you're working with. And you're going to want to go into, you're going to want to find something that says program settings. If you look in here, there's all kinds of different stuff. There's status, video DVD, um, settings for the video DVDs. What I'm looking for is actually the program settings. If I click on that, if you look over here, enable any DVD. If I didn't want this running, I would unclick this. If I didn't want it to auto start with Windows, I would want to unclick this. Now this is going to be different from program to program. It might not look like this, it might look different, but you're looking for basically these same kind of settings. Auto start, start with Windows, uh, start at startup, enable or disable the program. Uh, so you're going to want to uncheck those if you don't want it running. I'm going to leave it checked because I'm going to show you other ways to stop these programs from running. All right, so now if I decide that I don't want any DVD on here at all and I want to completely uninstall it so that it will never ever start with Windows, there's two ways I can go about that. The first is through Control Panel. You hit your Start menu, go to Control Panel, and your Control Panel might look a little different. It might look like this. So what you can do change this to a large icon. You want to go to program and features. And this is going to be all the programs installed on your computer. Now you want to be kind of careful in here. Uh, if there's something that you know that you don't use, you can uninstall it. But if you uninstall something that your computer needs, your computer might not work. And then you're going to end up bringing your computer either to me or, or to someone else to fix. And you know, I could use a business, I'm not going to lie. But if I want you to be able to use your computer fast and not have to bring it to me. That would be awesome, you know, if you can just use your computer and be happy with it. Now, if we look through here, here's all my programs. What I'm looking for is any DVD. If I click on this, double click on it, it'll ask me if I want to uninstall or cancel. Uh, if I wanted to get rid of it, I would click on install and there would be maybe be a couple more pop-ups asking what I wanted to do if I for sure wanted to un uninstall it. If I wanted to uninstall all the data, just click yes and uninstall everything. But once again, I'm going to show you another way to uninstall this, so I'm going to hit cancel and close out here. Okay, now the third way to uninstall programs. I'm going to go to start and go to all programs. And any DVD is made by Slysoft. If you look through all, all these programs here, these are all the programs that are installed. Uh, I've got some stuff from Lenovo, some maintenance stuff, some Microsoft Office stuff. So what I want to do is find the Slysoft folder, which is right here. If I double click on that, if I click on that, and then click any DVD, here's all my any DVD information. Uh, I can open the program from here. I can uh, get some information, rip DVDs, a whole bunch of cool stuff. What I'm looking for in this recording is to uninstall. So click on that. You might get a message asking if you for sure want to do this. Hit yes. And it comes up with the same window that you had in the control panel. And if you wanted to uninstall it, you click on install. Um, there might be a couple windows that pop up asking if you're sure. But I use this, so I'm not going to uninstall it. This is just a demonstration to show you how to uninstall. And like I said before, if you have different programs, it might be a little bit different from program to program, but the experience is basically the same. Uh, you're looking for the options to, if you click on it down here, 
to either disable it or turn it off, uh, to disable auto start or start with Windows or start at startup. And if you for sure know that you're not going to use the program, you can uninstall it by going to start, control panel, programs and features, and then clicking on the program. Or you can also install by going to start, all programs, the, the manufacturer of the software, software, and then uninstall. Now, one of these might not work for you. Two of these might not work for you. You might have to use the third solution. Sometimes all three of these won't work for you. If that's the case, you have to make a decision to either keep the, the software running or bring it into a professional to have it looked at. And that concludes my recording on how to keep your computer running fast for you so that you can surf the internet and listen to music and do whatever you want without having your computer bogged down. Once again, this is Travis from Advanced Solutions and Technology, and I hope your computing experiences are great.